Hey, what's up, Red Guides? It's Sick, and I want to bring you some updates to MQ2 TS Trophy. So, made this plugin a little while ago, and it's not been working so great. So, uh, it was a little bit out of bounds of my skill level, and uh, it was something I knew we were going to have to come back to. Uh, I didn't think it was as crappy as it was, but uh, with some help from some folks and banging my head against the wall a little bit, uh, we were able to get some stuff figured out. So, let me show you what we got going on here. Uh, we're going to load mq2ts trophy when it fires up it's going to list out all the stuff uh, that we have now um, originally when i had this it would swap the item into our ammo slot and then uh, swap back to what we had equipped before now there were some challenges with that and some problems with that particularly with the direction that stuff was getting swapped which would cause some conflicts with uh, other plugins or other um other macros that we're trying to make sure that we're equip equipping items or auto inventorying stuff. So, TS Trophy will no longer try and swap back, but uh, now we can pretty much guarantee when we click on a thing, it's going to swap our correct uh, our correct trophy into the correct slot. And I changed the way that the slots work too. We had some folks that had uh, user interfaces that um, uh, had some numbering problems in there. So instead of using the slot number for what slot we are going to inventory stuff into we're going to check it with the actual slot name so it'd be like ammo main hand um, in these instances okay so if you notice it doesn't swap back to the what i had in before no big deal um, if i go over to this uh fishing table little fly what is this uh fly making bench you know it'll swap over uh bone rod it says uh picking up bone rod swapping over into my main hand um, but so, okay, so I got back in arrows and uh, my axe, but if I click on the oven, here we go, Den Mother's rolling pin um, into ammo slot. Now, so I got all this working, zoning works again, I misunderstood how certain things worked, so <laughs> if you used this before and zoned, it would no longer work after you zoned, or if it did work, it, it was by pure luck, and uh, sometimes you'd get unintended shit happening. Um, <laughs> So that's fixed. I apologize for that. But we also have this now. Um, so I had never done uh, classes before um, or members of those classes. And uh, so I wanted to incorporate some TLOs into this. It, this was a request, actually. Um, but so we can do trophy. It returns back trophy, just the, you know, the, name, of the <laughs> name of the thing. But we have members of trophy. So we can list uh, trophy version and see 2.10, just returns back a float. Um, we can do uh, what type of item we have. So we're going to do trophy.blacksmithing, and it'll return back our blacksmith's uh, adamantine, um, adamantine thing here. So uh, the other classes are the other members of this we have. Uh, we have all of the types of trade skill items. So for example, uh, poison, right? I don't have a poison trophy. So this re should return back uh, null. Uh, if I can learn how to type, come back null because I don't have one. So no big deal. Um, but we have a couple of other things which are gonna be handy for folks. Uh, matches and container, okay? So this is gonna come back and tell me what container I have. Um, or excuse me, it's gonna tell me if I have a container. So in this case, uh, the container is returning back true because this has an a environmental container that I see. So it should be swapping an item if I don't have it equipped because we have that, uh, that matched. Now, if I'm out of it, this should show that we are not currently in an environmental container. So uh, we can do that, like I said, with trophy.container. Now, I put in this for uh, macro users. So it's trophy.matches. So right now, matches is false because we're not in an environmental container. If we went back to the oven and we did trophy matches, it would say true because the environmental container is an oven and we match with the rolling pin, okay? Uh, now, if I went to, um, if I went over to here, uh, it's picking up my brewmaster's mug, put it in my ammo slot and I do the matches it's going to say true because the environmental container that we have, or we have an environmental container open, and uh, my brewing is my brewmaster's mug. 
So, <laughs> and again, apologies for the dog uh, click clacking. Uh, he's got a nail trim appointment here in a couple of days. Um, but so we got this added in. So a uh, somebody who run has a macro and wants to make sure that they're they're giving time for the game to do stuff, right? Because when we uh, when we auto equip stuff, it takes a second or two for us to pick up the item. We got to swap it and then we auto inventory what we had before. Well, that was weird. Sorry for the green. Um, and if you have a macro running that's trying to auto inventory anything that you is not what it what it's expecting, it might try and auto inventory that. Uh, ahead of time or screw your stuff up so now you could do something like you know making sure that your trophy matches equals true once you open that and once it does match um, which it's again it's checking the environmental container against what you have equipped in the slot that would match what could possibly be for that container it'll return back true so this should make uh, life a little easier for uh, for trade skill folks um, let's see, did I put any other members in here? So we have Virgin, ma uh, Virgin, Matches, Alchemy, Baking, Brewing, Fletching, Jewelry, Tinkering, Pottery, Research, Blacksmithing, Tailoring, Poison, Fishing, and Container. Um, so those are all the members of here. Um, and, uh, this update, uh, we just went through some code review. So got some bunch of stuff updated. Um, big shout out to, uh, you know, nightly and brain and chat on helping me sort through all this stuff. But anyway, uh, this stuff's already pushed. Uh, hopefully it'll be in the next live build and hopefully this will be something that's functional and people can use and not even think about it. Now, before I wouldn't leave it loaded because of the issues that it had. Now I just leave it loaded. And if I come over here and I'm going to go do something on the loom, I know that it's going to swap out my mystical bolt and stick it in my ammo slot. And uh, then I'm not going to, you know, it's not going to screw anything up. So that's all I got for TS Trophy. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. If there's any other requests for TLOs that might uh, might go with this or any other options, um, like I think maybe folks might want this to be silent all the time, like not say that it's picking up and swapping it out. Um, so I might add options to be able to, uh, you know, to turn that off or, or, or whatever else. But let me know if you have any suggestions. Um, otherwise, I will talk to you soon.